case this is working, I'm just trying to make sure that I've got the stream up and running. I actually have no idea if it is or not. I think it's still not quite working. So I don't know. I'm trying to wait and see. And then once I know for sure if it's going then we'll start. says we're streaming but I can't seem to actually get into the stream area that's so strange Oh, hey, there we go. Oh, wow, the desktop audio is super quiet. Okay, we'll crank that. We'll just crank all of it. And make sure it's good. All right. Yep, okay, we're good. All right, awesome. Uh, welcome to episode three, Trauma Center, uh, second opinion. Let's just dive right in, because uh, this took way too long to set up. <laughs> That's a shame. All right, let's go. Turn the audio back on. Hope Under Attack, chapter four, part one. Let's go. I do not remember all the voices. It has been a couple days. So, we'll see what happens. Right. Dr. Castle's under attack. Good. You're back. What's Dr. Castle's condition? He's stable for now. He's gotten a lot weaker, though. I don't think he has the strength to survive an operation. Well, go see for yourself. Surgical ward, room 202. Good to see you, Derek. Dr. Castle, you should get up! Don't strain yourself, sir. I should have been suspicious when I couldn't diagnose my own condition. It spread so fast, I didn't think it was guilt. Have they identified the strain? I heard Sydney say it was an unidentified type, so be careful. Greg, we've received detailed information on this guilt. What? From where? These two just got back from Africa and an old Delphi research facility. The file Ruben gave us. We're analyzing the data. We think it might help us devise a treatment. Don't give up, Greg. I believe in you. And in Caduceus. That's why I wanted Derek to join you. Dr. Castle. Keep working hard, Derek. Results arrive from the lab. They've settled on a theoretical cure. Victor's report says they can recreate a serum to eliminate the guilt. There's hope then. There's hope then. It's pos it's possible, but we don't have enough antigen samples to finish the serum. Antigen samples. While you were in Africa, there was a highly toxic guilt outbreak. My brother was infected while treating one of the victims. 
In theory, we can extract samples from the untreated guilt patients. As long as their infections haven't progressed a full term, we can just remove the guilt. We've compiled a list of patients with symptoms matching Greg's. Derek, I need you to operate on them in order to obtain the necessary samples. So I'll be traveling to hospitals where the victims are being observed? Yes, exactly. Good luck. Once we have enough antigen, we can engineer the serum. I understand, sir. Derek. Hmm? Greg is my brother. Please remember that. Of course, Dr. Castle. Let's go, Angie. Yeah, because that's what we need. We need more pressure. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. All right. Race for the cure. We gotta run fast. Oh my gosh, how many places are we going to? It says we'll move automatically on the map screen, but... We definitely aren't moving automatically on the map screen. I think it's around here. I just contacted the hospital. They'll have the patient ready for us when we arrive. This vehicle is specially designed as a sterile, sterile environment. We can't risk a secondary infection, so we'll have to operate in here. The strain may be spread by physical contact. Wear your protective gear. Chiral reaction positive. Tatardi bodies detected. Tatardi. Extract guilt and proceed to procure antibody samples for analysis. The patient has been transported, and our protective area is now sealed. I'll explain how, how Director Castle requested that we obtain the samples. These patients have tested positive for guilt. However, the specimens inside them are still in an immature state of development. In fact, this serum should be able to completely incapacitate them. Doctor, first locate the guilt, then use the serum to stop it. After that, place the guilt specimen onto the tray and slice it open. Slice it open? Yes, we need the guilt's internal fluids to replicate its antigen. After we've drained the guilt, the procedure is complete. We only have one objective in this operation. Use the general serum to stop the guilt and obtain its fluids. That's all. Let's begin the operation. Understood. Let's begin the operation. All right. Let's go. Set this up. Two objectives. Remove the guilt from the patient and get a sample. Both require careful procedures, so let's begin. It's nice these patients agreed to it. What the, the fuck is that? It's an immature guilt cell, just like Dr. Castle's data theorized. Inject it with serum to slow its activity. The serum was effective, but... Now it's hidden itself inside the organ. Try to locate it using ultrasound. Neutralize it with the antibiotic gel. No, it's at the antibiotic gel. How does this... Oh, okay, I see. Uh, how do I, do I just cut it? Okay. Proceed as normal. Serum seems to be working. It should stop moving soon. To the tray carefully. Yeah. An incision down the center of the guilt. Drain the area. Drain it. We got it. Fluid extraction complete. Let's close them up. A guilt that releases toxic substances. How could they create something like this? Hang in there. Hope Dr. Castle's alright. Oh, come on. Nice work, Dr. Stiles. A 
operation complete. Good work, Doctor. Do we have to do this on every one of those circles? There are a lot of circles. Oh, shut up. That was not a C. Did I do it correctly? I think so. According to what Castle told us, we need three types of antigen. There are P, V, and H types. He wants one sample of each. I'll send a composition of this sample back to Caduceus. Hmm. I wonder what type it is. There's our answer. It looks like this is the V type antigen. Let's move on to the next patient. We still need the other two types. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Okay, well, like, how do I know which ones are... I guess we just go. Okay, I'll bring in the patient. Blah, 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 same stuff. Are you ready, Dr. Siles? Obtain a sample exactly like you did before. Good luck. Let's get started. Understood. Let's begin the operation. Let's begin. Alrighty. We've located the guilt. Dang. I'm gonna jinx it, but these are these are stupid easy right now. That better be an A. Thank you. Any word? Let's see. This is the V type. Damn. We already have that type. Let's move on to the next patient. We can't waste any more time. But we're probably going to. Uh, we'll go to the one where you guys can't see it. Up here in the corner. Behind my camera. Okay. I'll bring in the patient. ba da boo boo ba -ba -da boo boo Ready, Dr. Styles? Obtain a sample just like last Let's time. Get Let's go. Let's begin the operation. Oh, yeah. Well, it looks like it's in a different area of the body this time, at least. Let's begin. We've located the guild. Okay, but it looks exactly the same. Oh, nope, it's got. It's got green this time. I think it's working. Trash complete. Let's close them up. Nice work, Dr. Styles. It's going to be like a B. Angie, how's it look? We did it! This is the B-type antigen! All that's left is H-type. Let's hurry! Alright, so we got two left. Eeny, mini miny, H. Okay, I'll bring in the patient. 
Same words every Let's time. Let's go. All right, different incision. Let's begin. Are you serious? Shaky hand. We've located the guilt. Well, that's definitely the one we didn't have before. That's all three. Angie, let's get back to Caduceus. Boop, boop, boop. C total. Okay. Nothing to do but wait. Okay. Then I guess we'll wait. Chief! Chief! Her voice. Chief, how is he? We're using the samples to are collected to create a serum. But will it be done in time? I don't know. We just have to put our faith in Victor. I can't help. There has to be something I can do. Try to stay calm, Dr. Myers. I'm sure Victor can handle it. Stay calm? How the hell can you say that when your mentor is dying in there? If... If you hadn't been gone! Stop it, Sybil. This isn't his fault. I... I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. I... I need to go lie down. Awful. Wow. I've never seen Dr. Myers freak out like that. Sybil and my brother have some history. I can understand why she's so emotional. Don't hold it against her, Derek. Of course not. Hmm. This must be how patients' families feel. It's hard entrusting the life of a loved one into someone else's hands. Who knew waiting could be this painful? Uh. Kitty cat. Excuse me. It's ready, Chief. We're administering the serum vial four via f via I oh my gosh. <laughs> We're administering the serum via four <laughs> by IV. You should start to recover soon. I see. That's good news. But the guilt's still inside him, right? You plan on removing him, right? We should do it right away. Dr. Clarks, can you operate? I'd like Derek to assist you as well. I'll do my best, sir. Understood. Papa! Papa! Papa, 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 papa! Derek, you're going to be operating on Dr. Castle. Huh? But I thought you were scheduled for that procedure. I asked him to switch with you, Derek. Why? Dr. Clarks is an experienced surgeon. I'm just a... I know that you told my brother you couldn't operate on me. I'd like to know why not. Well, what if I did something wrong? I mean, you... 
Are you worried I won't make it? Of course not. You're going to. Then make it happen. It looks like I forgot to teach you a very important lesson. You've developed your skills, but something's holding you back. Sometimes a doctor needs to ignore his personal relationships. Huh? A friendship should have no bearing on your surgical ability. Once someone is in the operating room, they're not your patient and... Oh my gosh, that's not what he says. They're your patient and nothing more. You're their doctor, so you save them. That's all there is to it. But I'm still human. I... This is especially important because you have the healing touch. I won't let you end up like Robert. Dr. Hoffman? I'll explain it when the time comes. But for now, you just need to focus, Dr. Stiles. I know you can do this. Think of it as a trial. The final test before you can call yourself a doctor and really mean it. Dr. Castle. Well, doctor, can I be cured? Yes. I anticipate a full recovery after the procedure. Who's going to be operating? I... I will. You don't sound very confident. You can trust me. You're in good hands, Mr. Castle. That's the spirit, Derek. Remember, I believe in you. Yes, sir. To tardy bodies confirmed in the patient's liver, inject the newly designed serum to eliminate the guilt. Okay, Dr. Stiles. Okay, Dr. Stiles. I'll be explaining the details of this operation. As you know, Tatardi is a very dangerous strain of guilt. They function in groups of three and produce a harmful pathogen. In other words, the Tatardi itself acts as one poisonous mass. But if we administer our antibody serum, the guilt should die. Victor just completed that serum, as I'm sure you're aware. So there's just one objective in this operation. Kill the guilt cells in his liver by injecting the correct serums. As we discussed, the Tatarity will weaken once you inject the serum. There's a different serum for each one, so pay attention to colors. Remember, the Tatarity cells are synchronized with each other. You have a limited window of time to inject all three cells. You'll need to be accurate and fast. Of course, every surgeon should be. Dr. Castle is a fine surgeon. You trained under him, and now you have to save his life. Do your best, Derek. I plan on it. Good luck. Now, let's begin. I will okay. Save this okay, Dr. Castle. We're beginning the operation. Dang, man. Everybody loves just putting so much pressure on this kid. Ugh. Dr. Castle called this your final test before you can be proud to call yourself a doctor. I want him to believe in you the same way I do. Cool. Doctor. Trying to form toxic diverticula there on the liver. When they reach maximum size, those sacs release poison. They need to inject serum of the same color into the diverticulum. Looking good. You should be able to excise the diverticulum. Doctor. Amazing. Let's use our fancy miracle juice real quick. Alright, there we go. All diverticula have been removed. The guilt should reveal itself in order to reconstruct them. Supposed to inject the serum into all three of them, correct? 
I'll have to work quickly from there. Get ready. We've located the guilt. That's one. Oh no, it escaped. You need to get all three at once. All right, fine. What do you mean? That's the green one. Two. The chiral reaction is dropping. Wait, what? Now what? The hitboxes suck so bad. Chiral reaction decreasing. All three to tardy have disappeared. We have negative chiral reaction. Dr. Castle will be proud. Let's finish up here. I guess you finally repaid him for everything he taught you at Hope. You've really improved, Dr. Styles. The rookie surgeon who trembled before Kiriaki is gone. I think Dr. Castle will be proud to call you his doctor. It's gonna be like a C or something. Yeah. Fucking trash. Trash! Whatever. Ranks don't matter. We succeeded. That's all that's important. Is he all right? I removed all traces of guilt tissue. Now we just have to wait and hope that serum takes care of the toxin. I can try telling Dr. Castle he needs rest, but knowing him, he'll want to return to Hope Hospital immediately. He needs to recover first. Guilt is just about the only thing that could bring Dr. Castle down. I'm sure he'll be back to normal in no time. Dr. Meyer? Dr. Myers? Looks like they're a little understaffed. Maybe you could help Dr. Castle for a bit? Me? Y yes of course. I'd be glad to. Come with me then. Foreboding Clues. Blues Clues! Blues Clues! Blues Clues! Angeles Bay City Hall. <coughs> and that is why a substantial medical grant would... <coughs> Everyone's, uh... Mr. Secretary, what's wrong? Uh, it's my... My chest. Ugh. Kathunk. Mr. Secretary? We need help here! Somebody call an ambulance! Who will take record of the sins of our modern age? Is this some kind of prank? Wait, could this be a... B -b -b Chief! What is it? It's Richard Anderson! Then this... Preempted Thursday. 
As each death is sacrificed, man furnishes his dwelling in hell. But who will take record of the sins of our modern age? D does this mean... What is the secretary's condition? We haven't gotten test results back, but it's most likely guilt. How could this happen? How do they get close enough to infect Secretary Anderson? We need to formulate a plan with Victor. Call in our entire staff. I hate interrupting his day off, but we need Derek here as well. Yes, sir. Oh, because she's so sad about that. She loves Derek. They're in love. Ba -ba -ba. The first step. I came as soon as I heard. What's the secretary's condition? It's another new strain of guilt. We've tried a number of treatments, but nothing works. Dr. Clarks has been with Anderson since he arrived. He'll be taking his place. I understand. Victor, we need instructions. Okay, we'll be working together on this one, Styles. I still can't believe they got to me, too. I should have been more careful. I'm sorry about all this. Don't strain yourself, Mr. Secretary. What are my chances, Victor? Tell me the truth. I can take it. I'd say around 25%, but even that's being generous. Victor! That's all right, Sydney. I want to know all the facts about my condition. Otherwise, how can I make informed decisions? No matter what condition I'm in, I'm still Secretary of Health and... <coughs> Victor, we'll be able to figure out some way to treat this. Can't make any guarantees, but I'm trying. After all, you're the first victim of this particular strain. I see. So I'm the first one. Then my treatment is even more crucial. Sydney, use me as a guinea pig. Find a way to stop this guilt. I give Caduceus full discretion over my treatment. But Richard, that's. Are you sure? I can't promise any of the treatments will actually work. Yes, I understand. Worst case, you can use my results to find a cure for others. Can you do that? Mm. Mm. I accept your challenge, Mr. Secretary. I've decided that I will save you, but it might sting a little. <laughs> do what you must. As long as you're prepared for the worst, then I'm going to find a cure. I'm too smart not to. Have a reaction positive. Pempty bodies detected. Form a lobectomy and examine the strain for further study. There's a new guilt strain, a new guilt called Pempty inside the secretary's chest. I've done enough tests to know how bad this bastard can be, but I have no idea how to treat it. Honestly, I think it's hopeless. But hey, every disease has to have a cure, right? So it's up to us to find one. That's how medicine advances. But you know that. That's why you joined Caduceus. Anderson said worst case, at least his illness can be used to advance our own and our understanding of guilt. I assumed he was just some crusty old bureaucrat. But when you think about that, I guess he really understands what we're about. So we kind of owe it to the guy to make sure this works out. I'd say you have one main objective. Do everything I tell you to do. What kind of objective is that? There's no known treatment yet. Would you like to think one up? I'm the one who's done all the research, so just listen to me. We'll see about that. What's wrong? Nothing. Let's just do our job. That's a good attitude. I hope you can handle this. Let's begin okay, the let's begin the operation. Booty, booty, booty. Dang, he's thick, boy! Look at them okay. thick man boots. Time to spare, perform a lobectomy. Damn, boy, he's thick. Surprise, Derek. Welcome to the Pempty Strain of Guilt. 
This gelatinous fluid is filling the secretary's left lung. Anyway, you're going to have to do exactly what I tell you. Let's start by detaching it. Try cutting that stuff with a scalpel. What are you doing? Cut into it more deeply. Come on. Okay, that didn't work. On to plan B. How about the laser? Let's try incinerating that bad boy. It didn't work either, huh? On to plan C, I guess. Time for the antibiotic gel. I tweaked the formula a bit. It'll take more than that. Still no use? Damn! This is starting to annoy me. This time we mean business. I have one last trick up my sleeve. It's effective, but it's still being researched and adjusted. It's not very good for the human body, so be extra careful. Start with a vial of blue liquid. Hopefully everything goes as planned. Let's move on. Mm, it's reacting. There's not much of an effect. Try the pink medicine instead. Let's move mm. on. Still no good. Those didn't work, then I'm afraid the medicine is ineffective. We'll have to devote this procedure to collecting data. I'm worried about Anderson's condition. We should finish this up. Let's find out how it reacts to the yellow. Oh, what, the? what the? This is bad! White medicine is a neutralizer. Use it now! Bastard. Yeah, he's okay. Let's keep gathering data. What if we mix an increased dosage? Go between blue and yellow. This is useful data. Hey you, can I get some gamma readings? This is our last step. We need to alternate between the pink and the neutralizer. Garrett. Stop! Don't inject there! See that hazy object inside the fluid? That's the highest concentration of pepti cells. Inject the medicine there. Too slow. Triple positive HC reaction. Just as I expected. That's all the data we need for now. It's getting weaker, so we need to hurry. We need to hurry. Quick, snag a sample. You are bad. Let's we'll close them up and finish the operation. You did pretty well. There might be some truth to those rumors. Too many wires here. See. Yep. Now, all we can do is wait for his analysis to come in. We're depending on you, Victor. Medical research. I'm gonna drink some water. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Let's start with the good news. The Pepti strain has a weakness. There's a section of its DNA that can, that can easily be altered. That can be easily altered. By injecting a nano machine. we can basically reprogram it, convince it to self-destruct. But there's a part of the nano machine I just can't nail down. One of the programming strings is complex. Therefore, I need your help. What do I need to do? Why we 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 help create a new nano machine by figuring out a simple puzzle. How hard can it be? All I need you to do today is help me with a simple puzzle. It's pretty easy, but I need to see how other people go about solving it. A genius like me would obviously settle on the quickest solution immediately. But I need someone like you who's, uh, you know, your... Someone who's not quite as adept at maximizing his mental processes. If you think I'm an idiot, just say so. I'll be recording each one of your solutions. Just relax. All you need to do is solve the puzzle. Good luck. Okay. Okay. We can do this. Let's give it a try. 
This is gonna be like zapping the bomb. Oh, I see. Dr. Styles. Shut up. No, Dr. Styles. Shut up. You did it. Yay, I did it. Right. Faster than 20. A rank. Hmm, I see. That kind of makes sense, in a way. In that case, I just need to think backwards. Thank you, Dr. Styles. I think I can use a simple program that shouldn't take long to code. Damn it. I guess a group of idiots really could outwit a genius. Let's get started right away. No sleep tonight, guys. Aw, oh, man. Oh, man. Wow, that was it? That's That was really it? That took me two seconds. What the heck? Whatever. That was, that's gotta be the easiest one, easiest one yet. Gotta be. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. Let's begin the briefing on the Pempty treatment. I have a few theories about this Pempty thing, and I've prepared appropriate countermeasures. I'll explain those now. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. <sighs> From the data we gathered during the last operation, it's safe to assume this thing is impossible to remove directly. But, the artificial DNA structure at its root has a distinct weakness. It collapses when attacked from a three-dimensional angle. So, I developed a nanomachine to exploit that very weakness. By slightly altering its DNA, we can instigate necrosis. Basically, we'll drive it to suicide. I tried it on a sample, and it took effect immediately. Within four seconds, its mass had been halved. Three seconds later, 91% of its mass was completely destroyed. See, this guilt's rapid regeneration rate only transfers the suicidal DNA that much faster. If we can shrink it down that way, excision should be cake. So, our objectives are simple. Perform a lobectomy and inject the nanomachine directly. Then, excise the guilt and any surrounding tissue. So, that's the plan, Chief. Any objections? It sounds like our best option. Derek, prepare for surgery. Let's begin. I understand. Boola, boola, boop. Okay, let's start. perform the low back to me. Okay, we have the lab machine ready this time. Careful. Okay, it's working. Continue the injection. He's creating tumors. Use the laser to remove them. Zap. That is going as planned. We're doing well. Like size the Pempty at its minimum size. Oh, what, the? what the hell? Is that the Pempty core? Quick lose your laser. I size it without hammering the... What? It restored itself. The core Pempty has to be con has to be controlling the rest of the cells. Alright, screwed up, Derek. I might have to apologize later. But give me one more chance. I know I can figure this out. Use the nano machines again. Let's drag the core out. I unable to laser the things? I guess so. Another one. Damn it. No way. Damn. 
Try it again, Derek. We have to abort the procedure. No, Chief, I was almost... This bottle can't handle any more. You have to stop. This is an order. Damn. Stitch him up, Derek. Please close the incision, Dr. Styles. Damn it, I can't believe this. Whatever. Whatever, game. Shut up. Gah! It has a contingency plan. How can I be so stupid? They have an obvious flaw in their DNA. So of course they have a system to reinforce it. Damn it! Stupid! Can't believe I made such an idiotic mistake. Where are you going to grow up? We all make mistakes, Victor. At least Derek was able to retrieve a sample of the guilt for us. Couldn't you use that to create a more effective treatment? Of course I can! Grr, that virus is gonna pay for making a fool out of me! It's good to see you, Robert. But shouldn't you be back at Hope? Actually, I found that, as director, I have a little too much time on my hands. I think a doctor of your ability wouldn't have time to spare. Oh, are you here to visit your favorite student? How are you feeling, Secretary Anders? <gasps> Dr. Hoffman, when did you get here? Derek wasn't my student, Richard. I didn't teach him anything. I've known the secretary for a long time and came to see him. I'm sorry that our visit had to be under such unfortunate circumstances. It isn't your fault. This is no ordinary disease. I need to see your right hand, Mr. Secretary. Sorry, am I in the way? Oh, it's fine. Don't worry. Pretend I'm not here. I want you to be able to do your job. Richard, I'll be honest. You're not going to be happy, but I took a look at your charts. I'm going to be taking part in the briefing as well. Is that all right? So, you've started practicing again? Don't jump to conclusions. I'm only acting as an advisor, and only until you're discharged. I hope you can forgive my selfishness. Besides, Caduceus owes me after taking one of Hope's best surgeons. Well, I got a request for you as well. Even if I said no, I wouldn't stop you. Do what you think is best. Okay. Is Director Castle here? He should be in his office. I'll go speak with him then. Get some rest, Richard. Hey, Derek. I need your help again, okay? Is this another puzzle? I hate those stupid things. Yeah, he might look smart, but Derek used to copy off my tests. That was a long time ago! Seriously, it only takes a few minutes. Whatever, but I still don't understand how these things make any difference. We gotta put something in the level. Upgrade a new device by figuring out another simple puzzle. No sweat, right? I have two puzzles this time. They should be decently similar to the last one. I'm counting on you, Dr. Styles. Okay. Okay. I can do this. Let's get this over with. This one's a lot this one's a lot bigger. Move the pieces with your forceps. Uh No, Dr. Styles. Shut up. Uh let's move this one here instead. We'll put this one here. That can go <clears throat> 
this here for now we'll put this one Hello, Fucking... Dr. Style. shut up <laughs> no shut up This has to go here. Then this has to go here. This has to go here. Shut up! I did it. Aha! I got it. That's only the first part. It's another puzzle, Doctor. Huh? Don't look so down. Come on, let's try another one. <laughs> you always have been bad at these things, Styles. Looks like there are problems you can't solve with the healing touch. I've been doing most of this without it. You turns. Let's put that there for sh No. That can't go there. This has to go over here, but not... Like that, like that. <sighs> Shut the fuck up. <sighs> Can't go there. You go there. I suppose. Let's go here. This goes here. We got a winner! You did it, Doctor! You look well, are you alright? <laughs> I'll be okay. I'm just dumb. My brain's dead. <laughs> Finished after 90, it's a C! <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Good job. This should do nicely. Wow. That was almost a compliment. Overall, you only contributed about 1%. But still, thanks a lot. <sighs> I had all of Caduceus help out this time. That gave me more than enough data. I should be finished in no time. So can you really do it? What are you, stupid? That's the reason I'm here. How are you feeling, sir? When I was younger, I was in much better shape. I never got sick. Now I understand. Having a disease is so painful. If Delphi is capable of creating something like this, they need to be stopped at any cost. Of course, sir. But I'm glad. Huh? I don't know how to operate on patients or how to research treatments. So if the only way I can help fight GOAT is to be your test patient, then so be it. I'll gladly fulfill my obligation to Caduceus. Don't worry. I won't give up until you find some kind of treatment. Prolonged struggle. Okay. I'm gonna take a second and do uh, one of these real quick. Good. I'm glad the audio is good. All right. That's why I wanted to check, even though we're like what an hour into the stream. <laughs> Listen up, everyone. Secretary Anderson is getting weaker every day. It seems hopeless, but I don't think he'll die. I've never seen anyone fight so hard to stay alive. So, all we can really do 
is destroy the guilt that's killing him from the inside. Don't think about anything but the operation at hand. This is serious. Super serious. Victor, please explain our plan of attack. Okay, pay attention. Blah, blah, blah. I developed a new type of laser for use in this procedure. Last time we found that a single core unifies the cells. Even if most of the tissue is lost, the core can just reboot everything. But even when we destroyed the core, it just restored itself. A beam for core regeneration must exist in each individual cell. In other words, this guilt has a wicked contingency plan. So, I thought up a little contingency plan of my own. Use the nanomachine to lure out the core, just like last time. Use our new laser to destroy the core as it tries to regenerate tissue. Yeah, not that different from before. It should be easy. Victor, how are you sure that this new laser will work? It leaves less than 1% of the core protein behind. A lot less. It's guaranteed to work even against this bastard. But the laser will also cause serious damage to any human tissue it comes in contact with. You're going to have to be really careful about that. Understood. There's not much time left. You can do it, Derek. I won't give up. I'm going to save him. Remember what Dr. Castle said. His body won't survive much longer. This is our last chance. We have to succeed. I know you can do this, Derek. Don't let me down. It's payback time. Are you ready? We're gonna crush that bastard this time. No additional pressure, Derek. Do everything like last time up until the core shows up. Doctor! Boo -boo 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 -boo. We did it! Ha ha ha! Take that, you little punk! Something's not right. If the core was destroyed, then why hasn't the tissue receded? Uh-oh. No, not again! It's behaving erratically. Quick, use the laser to destroy the smaller cores. What about that one? This must be an adaptable mutation. What does that mean? A mutation that... Lower life forms develop if they're lucky. Some bacteria can alter their tissue as protection against heat or cold. They can adapt to pretty much any extreme environmental condition. Adaptable mutation is all just theory, though. Until now, I guess. Except this isn't a defensive mutation, it's offensive! Be careful, Doctor! stuff was happening. Stop the procedure. Derek, I said stop. And then Derek killed himself. The end. Alright. Won't give up. Won't give up.
Wait, if the Pemti is reacting this drastically, then we must have it cornered. The laser's working. Give it hell. Ha <laughs> take that. Keep it up, Derek. Oh! Alright, we got this. We got this. I'm confident. It's painful. Doctor! dead. I can't. Uh... Just use the healing touch, Pangus. Use the healing touch. I don't want to. I don't like summoning Satan every time I do surgery. That's not okay. He takes a little piece of my soul. Every single time. I don't like it.
This is a really annoying level. It's like if you don't do everything perfect immediately, it just craps out on you. Is it over? Let me check the power reaction. Negative, it's completely gone! We did it! Excuse me. I need you to move out of the way. Sorry, thank you. I'm in the middle of a very important procedure, kitty cat. Ugh. Glad that's over. How are his vitals? Barely within the limits, but they've stabilized. Hang in there, Mr. Secretary. We've won the war. Going home to crash. You guys should get some rest too. You never know when the next patient is gonna pop up. Nice work, Doctor. We all did a great job. You didn't do shit. Whatever. Boo doo. 
Oh man, I gotta turn my fan on. Hopefully it doesn't add too much extra noise, but too bad, I'm hot and sweaty. That was a tough procedure, blah, blah, blah. No mistakes! Max chain over set, you gotta be fucking kidding. That was an A? What? Did I actually do that well? Good work, everyone. Secretary Anderson was doing all the work. I'm surprised he held out for so long. Victor! What? I was just being honest. Well, we all fought hard, Secretary Anderson included. I'm taking off. My work here is done. My work here is done! How's he doing? I don't know. It's a miracle in itself that his body could withstand three operations. Apparently, the Pempty strain focuses its attack on the nervous system first. Can you imagine what kind of pain Richard must have been in? Hmm. But painkillers would have interfered with our test results. So we hid the pain. He fought against guilt all by himself. Is he going to wake up? God only knows. The only thing we can do now is pray. And then he died. The end. Oh, actually. That might actually be what happens. <laughs> Whoops! Three days later... Chief, Secretary Anderson has regained consciousness. I guess I was wrong. What? I'll be right there. It feels like I've been asleep for a very long time. We were worried, Mr. Secretary. There was a chance you would never regain consciousness. I'm sorry that I caused you all so much trouble. Sydney, please do me a favor. Could you call Robert Huffman in? There's one last thing I needed to discuss with him before he returns to hope. Mr. Secretary, what are you saying? Angie, contact Dr. Hoffman. Also, please assemble the guilt team. Chief, what's going on? With your experience and knowledge, Angie, you should already know. That last operation took quite a toll on the secretary's body. But we found a treatment. It's not fair. Get away from the wires. Richard, are you all right? I've almost forgotten to ask you about that request of mine. That's right. I remember you mentioning it. I'm leaving Caduceus in your hands. What are you talking about? Is that okay with you, Sydney? Dr. Hoffman was a very skilled surgeon, but... Exactly. That's all in the past. I haven't performed an operation in years. I couldn't keep taking responsibility. What good is a useless doctor like me to Caduceus? Why did you stop operating? <clears throat> You told me that it was that your greatest joy was being able to help patients. You're the last person I would expect to turn his back on to turn his back on patients in need. Mm. My hands. They've grown too heavy. I can heal people. There's no doubt about that. The healing touch let me save patients that nobody else could. But it's impossible to save every single patient. That burden is too great. I can't bear it. Still, trying to do everything alone, you haven't changed at all. Can't you see all the doctors and nurses here ready to support you? Doctors like Derek and Greg, you don't have to fight alone. That may be, but I... Have you forgotten already? Your patients are fighting too. Oh. 
The patience you've operated on asked you to fight by their side as an ally in that battle. Even if they ended up as casualties. Nobody understands that more than I do now. Some people may be disappointed that you couldn't save their loved ones. But nobody is pleased that you stopped trying. Richard. I remember something you told me back in our college days. You said that people should never have to hear that their condition is incurable. There are doctors here, like Derek Stiles, who feel the same way. But, hold on a second, the cat's eating something. Hey! such a cargo loader. Get out of here. Ah! This little turd was trying to eat a small piece of ramen that she found on the floor. This little kitty. Look at this little kitty. Meow. Meow. Go to a skull strike. Very coot. Very coot kitty. Meow, 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 meow. Alright, get out of here. All right, 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 I want you to lead Caduceus in my place. Hurt the injured and save the weak. Richard. Caduceus is a group of people who refuse to accept that some diseases cannot be cured. Stop it! We should discuss this after you've recovered and left the hospital. I won't be leaving. My place is here, with Caduceus. I hope you'll stay, as well. Even if I'm sleeping, <coughs> I will still. Ah, the sunset is beautiful here. I never forgot what I told you. If I remember everything, and I still believe what I said, nothing's changed. What have I been doing all these years? I'm glad to hear it. I knew you hadn't changed, Robert. That's why you recommended Derek. You knew that he could help Caduceus. Robert, please, take care of Caduceus. <clears throat> oh, my friend, I promise I'll work hard to bring our dream to life. Count on it. Caduceus in action! Woo. Special level four, transplant. What time is it? Yeah, we'll, I'll probably end the stream after this level again. I hate to make the part four, but it's kind of late. So. Old Brooks, Old Brooks Street Hospital, OR. It's not Old Brooks Saint Hospital. I was dumb last time. I caught it last time too. I just didn't point it out. Old Brooks Street Hospital OR. The kidney is on its way. ETA is one hour. Plan out your operation with that in mind. I'm more concerned about that tumor, to be honest. You'll need to excise the tumor before you can perform the kidney transplant. Otherwise, those veins are going to bleed out 
and you'll have serious complications. You are concerned at all that his body may reject the new kidney? We already know that this guilt severely inhibits the body's autoimmune response. As you can imagine, that all but eliminates any such risk. We are confident the kidney won't be rejected. All right, Professor. But this had better not be a sacrificial operation. I already told them. Yes, we're quite familiar with your contract, Dr. Weaver. I assure you, all your patients are people we respect. We expect to see back at work. Well then, Dr. Weaver, please begin the operation. Kidney transplant. Anastomosis to slow the blood flow, then proceed quickly. Tumors have been confirmed and must be extracted first. Well, since we're still waiting on that kidney, I might as well get started on the tumor. Can't transplant the kidney until that tumor is out of him anyway. The key to this transplant is going to be anastomosing the open veins. Once I administer the vasoconstrictor, his blood flow should slow down. I'll need to complete the anastomosis while he's still in effect, or he could bleed out. In short, there are two parts to this. Tumor excision, transplanting the new kidney. A pretty tall order, considering. We've got a real risk of blood loss here, so just make sure I've got... <sighs> just make sure I've got that kidney when I need it. Depending on how this goes, I may need to bring my healing touch into play. Here goes. Going to begin the procedure. Keep me posted on the new kidney. Boop -a -doop -a -doop. Let's operate. Looking at the kidney, I'm going to need to remove this tumor to make enough room for the transplant. This is exactly like that strange tumor I had to deal with before. If I don't move quickly, they're going to regenerate. I'm gonna be honest, I forget how to do this. Suck it up first. First we suck it, then we cut it. Dude, I do not remember how to do this at all. I cannot remember what I'm supposed to do here. Right. Oh, come on, I had that. The medical board will be notified? Abort the operation, Weaver. If you keep going, you're only going to make things worse. I've already called in our doctors. So let them handle it, okay? And then Dr. Weaver killed herself and never showed up again. Alright. Now that I remember how to do this. Here goes. Hmm. 
gonna need that kidney soon. Okay, it's in position. And we need to restrict blood pressure before I can perform anastomosis. Inject it into his veins. Basal constrictor will need to be injected periodically to maintain the condition. Next. Good. One down. Careful now. Good. One more to go. I didn't realize there was a thing down there. Oh, right, because it's a kidney. I'm going to attach it to the bladder. That makes sense. Successfully, somehow. Once the vasoconstrictor wears off, his blood pressure will return to normal. Everything looks good. We're done. All that's left is suturing it up. That's it. The new kidney is working nicely. I think we're done here. There we go. That's better. Covers didn't regenerate. Finished before Vasal Constrictor expired. Still only a C. <laughs> Fuck you, game. I've come to expect miracles from you, Dr. Weaver. His prognosis is still in question. But that's something for our doctors to worry about. I don't understand what Delphi is hoping to do here. Are you trying to save mankind or wipe it out? The path humanity has been on since the dawn of civilization will soon come to an end. Our planet cannot support 7 billion people, all living out long, meaningless lives. We're here to ensure that human beings are changed before it's too late. That is the meaning of our guilt research. Guilt will free mankind from the sins that bind it to a history of destruction. This is something you believe, Professor? Our leader, Adam, has promised us salvation for the good work we do here. This is the only way to absolve our own sin, by paving the way for a new future. Freedom from the shadow of medicine. It's as simple as that. I don't understand how a man like you could believe a word of that, Professor. Dr. Weaver, I would advise that you only speak about things pertinent to your job here. Doing otherwise could be considered a breach of contract. Don't worry, Doctor. I'm sure you'll come to understand, sooner or later. <gasps> She's working for Delphi. Kinda. Alright, yeah. It's time to be done. Uh, thanks for hanging out. We'll do chapter 5 and 6 probably in the next one. I'll try to do that tomorrow night. Um, that'll be 10-12. And I uh, hope to see you then. All right. See ya.